Hello, this is Mark with Evolution of War Warfare, U.S. Civil War from GMT. Uh, we're looking at episode three, um, turn three. As you can see here on our turn track, again, I'm very excited to announce we have uh, gotten to, I think with the help of U.S. Civil War, we've gotten to 90 subscribers to the channel. I'm really overwhelmed and... Uh, Gosh, over 20 uh, views at least um, on the last episode. Again, I don't know if anybody's watching them all the way through or not, but um, I really appreciate everybody's support. This is a great game, a great hobby, and uh, I'm not an expert on U.S. Civil War by any stretch of the imagination. I am bumbling through everything, but uh, at any rate, so we are on uh, turn three, um, the fall of 1861. And so we still have, we're just getting one card per turn. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, uh, three activations per turn for uh, 1861. And... Uh, so here we go. We're going to start with placing reinforcements. Now, if you remember, I did make an error um, last game. I've I've got a problem with the Army of Northern Virginia down here. Um, I think it's going to be rectified this turn because I have Beauregard, who is a two two star general, and that's not cool, Robert Frost. But I believe. I think I could be wrong. Um, I am wrong. Yeah, there's Bragg. We really don't, and no one gets promoted this turn. Okay, so I'm gonna need to fix this. Um, gee, maybe it's this turn. Oh. oh. No, it's not till we get Robert E. Lee do we have the Army of Northern Virginia. So um, I'm going to have to uh, make some adjustments. Um, with uh, Beauregard, Longstreet, and these 12... I'm just going to have to go back up. And we're going to have to deal with it because that's the rules. And we should follow the rules as much as possible. Oops, wrong guy. These guys are under this fort here in Manassas Junction. We did give back that strength point that uh, we thought we gained. So I don't think... Oh, we do have, now, we do have um, the Army of Tennessee that has Albert Sidney Johnson, who is a uh, three-star general, um, so that's okay. But all right, now we're going to go back up here and we're going to take a look. We got severely shellacked uh, here. last turn. I think one of the things I might do we just have two there. He's got one. We might send or might do this in two ways. Got three um we're dealing with in the east. We may put both of these. Well, I think, oh, the army of the, uh, yeah, we're going to add, turn this into four. Yep. So that's going to give us 14. That's quite a bit. And then we are going to uh, put those other three there. 
in uh, Baltimore. All right, next we get three. Whoops. Well, I guess we can. Th um, three in Ohio and Illinois. Or Indianapolis, or Indiana, excuse me. We'll put it in Indianapolis. Three of them there. And then three in Illinois. We'll put it in Springfield. And then we get uh, two for like, St. Louis. Which I think uh, this turn we are going to definitely uh, utilize that a lot more. So we have three guys... And he can go up to 18. Well, we got a lot of forces here, Union forces, um, in the wet, in the Trans-Mississippi that we can use. All right, next we get to uh, do the fourth thing. And I, I think what I want to do here, I got Patterson I pulled out. Um, <clears throat> I think what we will do here is we will build or we'll place a fort um, or try to or work on building a fort there in Harper's Ferry. All right. Um, next, we get um, one action card. Now we actually have three. The most we can have is five, but uh, I can flip that over. Yeah, that gets the navel. I tell you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put two west cards, and then so that's going to give us four. And that will that naval is going to allow me to do um, with these three in Baltimore. Well, to do, to do, to do. All right, we'll mess with that a little bit later. Uh, Union naval reinforcements. I think what we read is. We do get one per turn. Of those, that's turn five. Oh, that's turn four. Okay. All right. And then we have nothing in the naval pool. All right. Now we go to the, to do this uh, um, uh, calculation for the Confederate reinforcements. Um, we got to go over here and roll two dice for... To determine where our random we have three and that is going to place us in Texas now that, I tell you in the games I've played I have not uh, put a, a BP in oh no I'm thinking of I'm thinking of a naval thing we're gonna put this up here in Nacogdoches so then that allows us to advance the um, arsenal BPs to three. All right. Now, we get a total here off the chart, the resource hexes plus arsenals. So 90, there are 98... Uh, 
That's the resource hexes plus there are three arsenals plus uh, six That's the border state recruits. Now I go over here and roll three dice for blockade running. And uh, the one on top is going to be the, the first number. Okay. So two, two, and three. Let's get this chart up here. And go back all the way over here. So we have 107 plus um, 2, 2, and 3. Okay. So 2 is 10. Um, we're still in 1861, so we get 10. And again, that's from, uh, we roll 2 for the north. Uh, Uh, Northern, um, oh, North Atlantic was 5 plus 2 is 7. That's still going to be 10, um, 9, and 10. Looks like I get 30. And then divide that by 10. And that gives me 13. So it's going to be 1, um, 1 in the Trans-Mississippi. Let's go down here. We have uh, six. All right. <clears throat> So let's take a look. Well, so obviously we're going to put um, the one in Little Rock here. Then let's go ahead and over here in the east, we have uh, two. What I'm going to do with these, let's see. Um, we're going to send two up here to, uh, that army and Weldon's going to be two and it's going to go up to, uh, um, the valley up here next to Harper's Ferry. And then the other two is going to go into Raleigh and I'm going to send those two, I think probably, um, Oh, we do want to build a fort there. You know, start again building up these defenses on uh, for amphibious landing. I may put um, a strength point down here in yeah ja Jacksonville. We'll see about that. Okay. Um, now, our final six, we get to put um, here in the west. So, again, what are we doing here? Hmm. I think... Um, I'm going to put um, two down here in uh, Jackson, Mississippi. I'm going to put two in Memphis and then um, two here in Decatur. Now, I think what I'm going to do with them is I'm going to 
reinforce, I'm going to add to Albert Sidney Johnson and to uh, Columbus, Kentucky. Although I need to, I may add one because I've got to figure, i got to work on defending against what's inevitably going to come my way here. Um, so he's going to go automatically bump up to six. Yeah. So we'll do that when we get, we get near that part. All right. So that is the reinforcements. We get to draw one card. Um, and that's going to be an east card so we will put a fort out in the east and then now we do ah yes the uh, come over here and we do naval and there's that one this nice little chart here right here um, that we go down and roll pull these two dice off And we get a two, which is going to give us an ironclad. Although we're not getting uh, any success in building those. And that ironclad is going to go for Louisiana. Awesome. Okay. So we're going to put this one in New Orleans. I think it's, oh, they're over here. Um, yeah, we're going to pop that and place that into New Orleans. All right, very nice. So we are done with that. Now, um, we don't have any displaced units or militia. Um, is there any militia that I want to move around? I don't think so. Not anywhere that I can see. So now we do strategic movement. And I think we're going to leave those two there. We're going to send um, the three that are in Springfield. Oh, into the Army of Potomac, or Army of, I'm sorry, the Army of the Tennessee with Halleck, I think. Right, that's going to give him seven. Um, the force in Indianapolis is going to go down here and uh, reinforce there. And then we've got these, uh, I think we already added the three to Washington. Oh, yeah. Oh, we have six here in Baltimore. Okay, perfect. Well, we're going to send... Yeah, that should enable us to attack um, Harper's Ferry here, which will be good. And then I am going to replace these for three ones because we are going to um, we're going to learn how to do um, an amphibious assault or amphibious landing rather. And I'm going to do it in probably, I guess they have to go, I guess I should have just left. Oh, yeah, I, I, I should have just left a three. Okay, well, that was stupid. And we'll, oh, we'll place them here in Baltimore. So they're ready to go out now on the Confederates. Now, last time, I did not do strategic movement in the East. That's going to change a little bit here. So 
So we, we are going to send Oh, there's my there's my army commander. So I know what I'm going to do with him. I think I'm going to flip these two and then I can form the army of North. I should have done that right off the bat. But we're going to um we're going to move 6 now again, all I can move are seven. So we're definitely going to, um, oh. Yeah, we're gonna move six. Okay, we're gonna add, oh gosh. Um, we're going to add four. So that gives us five there. That'll help a little bit in, um, And I'm going to, to remind myself, I knew I had to have an army commander in the east. I just couldn't remember where he was at. And then the other two are going to go, I uh, hate to have to do this. Let's see. Five. Uh, oh, yeah, we got ten. Fourteen. Okay. Boom. Oh, actually, that two goes back. I I deleted one. Let me bring up. I need to bring up. Uh, so I'm gonna have to. I can only move. Well, no, never mind. I think we had him in Raleigh. Those two in Raleigh, and I'm going to, because I need to, well, yeah, let me, and we are going to send that to, um, yep. Down here, south of Savannah, I'm going to put it there in Jacksonville, just to get somebody down there. I want to defend against amphibious attack. All right, so that is the seven, and so I do have force and uh, more forces over here. I've got a, I got to move by the six that I got, um, but I'll have to do that with my turn. All right. On to leader management. Looks like Stoneman is going to go to the east, and I think we are going to add him to... Um, the Army of the Potomac. Although, wait a minute. Although he doesn't really get gain any advantages, I may send him to the Army of the Tennessee. Yep. So that's in the east. Oh, I need to demote McDowell 
Oh, wait, no. Here, no, I'm sorry. Whoops. Oh, Stoneman's Calvary. Okay. Buell and Pope go to the west. And Foot goes to the west. So I think he goes with the... Uh, these guys here and then we get to send Buell and Pope out here the question I think what we're going to oh I know what I'm going to do I'm going to um, we're going to start our army out here We'll I tell you what we will do is we are going to go ahead and create the army of the Cumberland. General Buell is going to be in charge of, and Pope is his subordinate. And I think, we, yeah, we have seven, eight. Oh, nine. We have nine. Delete that. Delete that, and we'll clone that. That's nine. And they are in Evansville, I think. Yeah, I think that's where they were at. All right. Now I can do, tr I think I've got everybody, oh, um, yeah, I think I've got everybody where I want them. Um, now the Confederates, um, oh, Trans-Mississippi, I think the all, yeah, all these guys go out to the west, west and Trans-Mississippi. See if anybody gets killed off here. Uh, no, there's no changes or anything like that. So we're going to put out Van Dorn out here with Price in Fayetteville. We're going to put... Um, I think Bragg... No. Nope, nope. I think let's go down here and put somebody down with Albert Sidney Johnson. Yeah. We have a one star. He's fully staffed. Kirby Smith. We are going to take him and let's see who is up here. Oh, we got Polk. And we only we have three people. Okay. Yeah, we need to get some more forces in there. All right, so I think that's it. So that's leader management now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and send Beauregard over here and I'm going to uh, he's gonna become in charge of that army and then when I get started, one of my actions is going to be to move that commander over. All right. So now I think we are at the um, leader phase. Mm. All 
I'm sorry, action phase. Whoops. The thing about tabletop is that if you get things slightly askew. All right, first. Oh, it's going to be a four. <clears throat> and it's going to be on to Richmond. We have to do it on, and that's easy. I think I know what we're going to do there. And the can uh, the union player gets, uh, yeah, they get advantage. So for my first action phase, I am going to go ahead and we are going to attack. Do I have a card in the... No, I just have the West and Trans-Mississippi. Okay. So we're going to take care of our on to, miss, on to Richmond thing first. Dump all the dice in here. And we're going to carry this tray and pop it up here. Where we can do no harm. All right. And then I'm going to go get the combat chart. And we're going to come back over here. And we're going to figure out what our So here we have, we have Patterson, and he has now five. We have Johnston. And he has five, but I have a plus two. So these are one dice. And so we are attacking with a five plus a zero for the Union and a five plus four for the Confederates. But it's the attack. Okay, six is a one star for the Union. Three plus four is seven with a strength of five and six, and that's two. So, oof. That is bad news at Black Rock for the Union continues. <coughs> the Union continues to be de soundly defeated in every single engagement that they've had. And they retreat back into their fortification. And they are, or they are, um... Oh, Longstreet and him go. Okay. We're going to put Beauregard there. So it's a good thing I had left Johnston. I hadn't moved Johnston yet. Um, um Maybe I should have attacked uh, from Washington. Um, hmm. All right. So that is the first uh, action, or excuse me. Again, we got four difference now. Three. Now what to do? Hmm. Let's see. I think I want to.
I'm going to resolve. I'm going to get. Um, okay. I know I get a free. No, I don't. So I'm going to use. Um, he's going to go there to Kansas City to convert it. <clears throat> Over here from, we're going to take Fremont and his three guys. And... One, two, three. So those, that's uh, that's two. I got one action left. Um. Oh. Yep. We're gonna. We're gonna go up here and we're gonna get five guys and we're gonna wait for frame up. That's it. All right, now the Confederates. Well, obviously my first one is one we're going to send Joe Johnston over here. Now we've got the Army of Northern Virginia. And Joe Johnston's going to lead until Robert E. Lee comes on. And there's a fort. And we are going to bring these guys down to here. And we have we have fourteen plus Longstreet and Stuart. Stuart. All right, so that's a very good force to have in Manassas Junction. So that is one of my activations. Now, he's down to three and I have five. And I could get a plus, I don't, do I have an E? I have an East card. Huh. And he's, before he builds that, yes, we are going to use my card, which gives me a plus two modifier. And we are going to do the same thing that he tried to do to me. And we have a one, a, a five plus three, a five with a plus three. Uh, the DM the DM modifier doesn't count. That fort isn't built yet, but there is that. Patterson has no defense, and he's down to three. So he's going to roll on the three chart, and I'm going to roll on the five chart, or five, I guess, line, column. There we go, column, and see what we get. Oh, oh, all right. So he rolled a one on the three, which is a diamond, or yeah, three or less, or or one or less is a diamond. I rolled on the five table. I have I have five 
plus three, um, and I rolled a four, so it's a seven. And that is a two. So that's going to take him down to uh, one. That's a very sound. That boy, they got this commander is going to get fired. I can already tell. <laughs> All right. So that's a good victory. And uh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. He had uh, plus two. Uh, one plus two. I don't think that did anything. Gosh, I need to pay attention to this stuff a little bit better. He was on the three table, so he rolled a three, which was a star. So yeah, he's still, he still lost to. Um, and that fort is going to go away because he's got to retreat too. And he's still a demoralized force. So that gets deleted. That gets deleted. I still think you ought to be able to go in and take over forts. Um, so he's here in uh, Harper's Ferry. Okay, so they have to retreat to one, two, back up to Chambersburg. The question is, do I want to... Um, Do I want to follow him? And the answer is uh, yes. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to not come back. We are going to um, Harper's Ferry. Oh, it ought because it's in Virginia. It automatically um, converts back to. Um, oh, I get one of my uh, resource places back. There we go. Very nice. And Beauregard is going to, yes, yeah, so that's going to be a one, two. Three. So now we have five against one with a plus one. I will clean this up in a minute. And he's got one. No. Oh, five and a four. All right. I've got five with a six. That's one star. He rolled a four with no nothing else. Um, four on the one table, and that's a there's nothing there, but I have destroyed. Um, that army and Patterson is going to go into um, East Displaced. That's going to allow me to come up here to three, and then we're going to go ahead and convert um, We're going to go ahead and convert that to my control there. So now Philadelphia is completely wide open from the Valley campaign. So now let me just clean this mess up. How fun is that? <laughs> Great success. And then my card that I used goes down here. Very good. So that is going to be, um, that's my second action. I got two more. <clears throat> I have no more cards. And so, oh, I know what I needed to do. Yes. Um, oh, 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 oh. I need to get these strength points sent. Um, we're going to obviously send this guy to Van Dorn. 
That's going to give him three. So that's one. Better keep track of these. And then I got one more to do. And I think, um, I need to send, one, okay, these uh, two here can go, I can do one rail per turn. So that's gonna go to the Army of Tennessee. And that's gonna be my last action. And that's gonna give us a total of five. So I'm going to uh, replace those with, oh, there they are. with five. And that is my last action for the Confederates. So now we go back, go back over here. And we gotta roll two dice again. Oh, I think we, yeah. Doop -a -doop. Okay, this is going to be two, and the Confederates get, uh, they get to go first. They have initiative, and this is the third action cycle. Hmm. Okay, so we are going to activate this guy here. One, two, three. Move him up towards Fayetteville. Then we have um, these two by rail. I'm going to send them up to uh, Bowling Green to add to the Army of Tennessee. Gives them seven. Those are my two. All right, so now it's going to be the Federals. Now they're smarting. They've had three major battle losses. So what I'm going to need to do is... No idea what happened there. What I'm going to need to do is he has five. I may send Burnside is two. He could have up to six. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to send, I'm going to detach Burnside and I'm going to move him. Out of Washington, one, two, three, and just deter him from moving any further east. So that's one of my actions. Um, now, um, then I'm going to... Um, what do I have here? The Army of the Cumberland has nine troops, and Albert Sidney Johnson has seven. Oh, that just changed. <laughs> so, 
I think we're going to hold on, but what I am going to do is I am going to activate my naval unit and send it um, I don't know why it keeps doing that. We'll just um, do that for the moment. All right, so that's my second one. We're gonna block off uh, that. So that'll be those two. So now that's the end of the third action cycle. Yeah, that's it. So that leads us to the end of the turn. So to date, we have the Confederates doing very, very well. I feel like I've forgotten to do something. But let's go over here and um, get the chart and think, uh, oh, control, yes. Um, I do know out here in Kansas City. That's a control. We're still moving him, his force. And their two forces are gonna meet down here in Springfield. Um, I don't think we made any other advances other than, oh, Oh, I, I put a move. I used a movement point to put a control marker there. Okay, I think that is it. Um, end turn rally. I think the only demoralized people were in uh, that guy's. <laughs> what general was that? Peterson? Patterson. Um, naval repair. Nothing there. Oh, yes, we have two rolls for our. Uh, we have Norfolk and we have New Orleans for our ironclads. So we need a five or six. Um, the top one's gonna be Norfolk, the bottom one's gonna be New Orleans. Norfolk finally gets completed. There we go. Then advanced all right, so now we are now moving into the winter turn. We are not going to get, um, we are not going to get uh, any reinforcements this next turn. So it's just going to be further uh, doing what we're working on here. So thank you again for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll catch you on the next episode. Um, please again like, share, subscribe. Uh, man, let's get close to 100. That, uh, start pushing on that subscription level. But thank you all and take care.